Well, it's the Murray in a hurry, and we have a very special guest here for the Beffert Rugby League viewers at home. David Gallup, uh, CEO of the NRL, and mate, it's a pleasure for you to give up a little bit of time for us here today for the show. G'day, Tony. Good to be on the show. One of the first questions I need to ask you, David, is that we've got a lot of governing bodies in our game at the moment. Is there a chance that a national body will be established, and when will it, if it is? Yeah, look, I think everyone accepts that the administration with the various bodies can be a bit unwieldy at times. Um, but the fact is, since we've got the centralised funding model in place, so all the state leagues get funded on a project by project basis, um, things are pretty harmonious. And uh, I think sometimes people uh, expect that uh, a change to that would, would change a lot of things. Uh, I think it, it would be better to have a more efficient structure but it's not going to be the answer to everything. Uh, I know there's work being undertaken at the moment to look at it and it would be nice for the game to have one brand which was on the logo of what our under sixes are wearing and what Darren Lockyer wears when he runs out to play for Australia. Out in the west of Sydney which is traditionally a heartland of rugby league we find that AFL now are trying to get a foothold. Have we got any measures in place to counteract that? Well the first bit of good news is that we're really strong in Western Sydney. I think we've got 20,000 registered players. We've got now a Western Sydney Academy which is out there coordinating the development effort of not only the NRL clubs that are out there but also the various junior development bodies. Um, AFL are coming in and, and that's a reminder that it's competitive but we're turning local kids into first grade footy players out there and we have been for decades. They've got a draft system, they've got to work out how they're going to manipulate their draft system to bring in a new team and I think they've got some challenges in Western Sydney. I'm confident that Rugby League uh, can weather the storm. 20 years ago we had superstars in our game like Alfie Langer, small in stature. We seem to have morphed now because of the rule changes to a certain body type. I think it's something that we've been conscious of and we've seen greater speed around the ruck this year. So we've seen guys like Preston Campbell, Jamie Soward, Matt Bowen, these kind of little guys have had good seasons. Um, I agree we need to guard against the 100 kilo guy that's six foot two and can run 100 metres in 11 seconds being the only type of player that we encourage and I think with some of the tweaking that's happened this year we are seeing the little guys coming back a bit. Yeah they are coming back a bit but we, we go back to that uh, you know that Western Sydney mums dads when you know a 13 year old kid and his slight in stature comes up against a, a 90 kilo under 13 kid that tends to put the, the parents off our game. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the ARL development board, so we're constantly looking at the junior game, and there's going to be a, a, a game-wide review of the junior game, so mini-mod, um, how that's working. We've trialled some wait-for-age competitions in the last couple of years. Uh, there's some trials going on around bringing the 10 metres back to 5 metres, so the collision is, is, is not at the same uh, velocity. And... Um, but, but I agree with you again, you know, we, we need to be looking to encourage all body types. But I think one of the things we have to keep in reinforcing with parents and, and mothers in particular, I guess, is what you, what you see on Friday night um, when Dave Taylor runs into Justin Paul. Um, that's not necessarily the way the game is played at junior level with mini and mod and some of the rule modifications. Uh, it is a safe game for kids and I think the game's been a leader in that regard. But we have to also accept that what you do see on Friday night is, is pretty brutal. David, we, we seem to have had a season of contradiction. We've had our off-field and on-field controversies, but uh, crowd figures are up, television ratings fantastic, club membership up. We've just got, gone from positive to positive. What short-term and long-term goals have the NRL got in place to capitalise on all this positive? Yeah, we've had a lot of challenges off the field, but the good news has been the footy on the field, the closeness to the competition. Uh, we've had some, some clubs that have come back, Dragons, Bulldogs, and that's all helped make it a, a good season on the field. I think we do have to be conscious that education and welfare are very important. We need to keep our foot on the pedal. We need to keep addressing the issues when they come up because they are going to continue to come up for us. We've got 450 young blokes and from time to time they're going to make mistakes. Um, but I think Look, it's an exhilarating comp and we've got a mix of young and older stars doing well. Jared Haynes being freakish. 
Dave Taylor up at the Broncos, your old club. Um, so we've had them, but we've also had the old hardheads doing well too. Nathan Highmarsh, Andrew Ryan at the Bulldogs, Brett Kamali. So it's been a nice mix this year, and I think people have enjoyed that. Women in league, very important. You know, I'm a, a president of a junior club. I'm president of a senior club. I mean, I don't know where I get the time. And I get around the country through the Barefoot Rugby League show, and I find that women represent such an amazing impact on our game. Are they being represented at the top level? We've done more around women in league with the, the official functions through Harvey Norman this year. So we've had uh, another year of that. I think we put on four separate functions and celebrated the grassroots role of women in rugby league. Uh, we've got to continue to do that. We're certainly encouraging more representation on boards for women and we've seen some clubs pick up the ball on that. Below the NRL level, there's literally thousands of women that are manning the game and that, that's pretty encouraging.